Hey y'all, it's May. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very informal video for you guys, like super informal. Um, sorry about that, but I did wanna make sure and get this filmed today. It is a beautiful day in LA. I'm in front of the window. I have the window open, so if you hear some noises, sorry about that. Um, but it does not feel like winter. I can tell you that. It's probably like 75, 80 degrees outside, um, but I'm not complaining. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys an update on my bullet journal. I think I had told you in my, gosh, I don't know, probably like an Instagram post a few months ago that I was planning to use a bullet journal for my 2018 organizational setup. And so I ordered this um, black electrum. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, 1917 from Amazon. Well, first I had ordered the gold one um, and I shared that in a vlog. I think that was my last video. Um, and I was so excited hoping that it was gonna be this like really beautiful gold notebook and it was not. Um, so I returned that and thank you guys so much for all the tips on how to res return with Amazon Prime. That was awesome. So I returned that and then ordered just the plain black one. And it's a nice um, notebook. It's like $20 on um, Amazon Prime. I got the hardcover with the um, dots and the notebook itself is nice but I'm just like not feeling bullet journals. It's been a while since I've used this format and I don't know, maybe it's just things have changed and I just, it's just not for me. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I don't like it. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. Um, maybe I need to change some things around. Also, I've said this before, but sometimes we just have to kind of change our planner systems and planner piece may mean that um, we have to be okay with using different systems. So let me kind of show you guys what I've been doing. Um, I do have a lot of things covered up in here just because, sorry, it's my planner and I can't share it with you guys, all, all the details of my life, but hopefully it'll give you a little bit of an idea. So I'm not gonna share my table of contents, but you can see that it does have that. And then um, because I wanted to start using this bullet journal immediately, I went through and just kind of pre-planned out some pages. Um, so you can see I was gonna put a 2018 year on one page here, or else my intentions or my one little word, like something to set the tone for 2018 but I'm already annoyed and like, don't wanna do this. Like I don't wanna write out every single day for 2018. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Maybe just like my intentions or like a, um, my one little word for the year. I know I sound kind of negative and sorry, that's not my intention, but I just want you guys to know that like bullet journals are a lot of work. Like I had kind of strayed away from pretty planning for a little while and like wasn't decorating. I was just very functional and utilitarian. And then the past couple of months, I've been excited about kind of getting back into that and thought that this would be like a fun project to do, but I'm already like over it. So anyway, that's what I was gonna do there. And then again, I had another um, sticky note here and I was either gonna put again, intentions or goals or maybe my ideal day. Um, was gonna do a vision board and then, okay, actually, let me show you guys this. You can see I started like trying to get creative on these pages and not that I'm like, I'm not Amanda Rachel Doodles or anything like that. Like I'm not as creative as her, but I'd like to think that I'm like pretty creative and like can do like basic hand lettering and things like that. But the thing that stressed me out about this bullet journal was that if I messed something up to the point where I just really didn't like it and I had to take the pages out, the pages are pre-numbered. So like you can see here, it went from three to nine because I was like, not having it like I just did not like the way it looked and I had to rip them out so anyway I kind of had to like rearrange some of the things I was planning on doing an October review November review um, no I'm sorry a September review and October review because I started using this I think mid November but then because I had to take those pages out I had to like rearrange things bullet journals just don't allow for a lot of forward planning or like it's just back to back to back. So you can't move things around, like you've gotta be okay with that. And I thought I was, but I'm realizing that I'm not. Like I need divided sections and I need to be able to move my pages around. I always thought I was a spiral girl, but I guess now I need to be back in my rings. So I don't know what's gonna happen. But anyway, um, just know that like, you've gotta skip pages. And if you 
like tear out a page, then too bad, so sad. So then I tried to do like a November habit tracker or gratitude and once again, that did not happen. I was so excited to draw um, the little diamonds and gems like I had seen Amanda Rachel Doodles do and that clearly did not happen either. Um, my mood tracker, this is as far as I got. I wrote like two lines in mid-November. That didn't. All right, I'm gonna skip this next page. And then um, I created like a little spread for social. That clearly, like, it's just like, it's a mess um, to finish spread. And that was like kind of, I went back through my old planner and just pulled out to-dos that I, like big picture to-dos to that I hadn't finished. Um, and then I made like a, a spread for the week of the end of November. And these were like some, some of the Black Friday sales I wanted to check out. These were events in Q1 2018 that I need to like plan. But like, see how it's just messy? It's not like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, it's too confusing for me to go from a week of planning something to like events all of a sudden in 2018. And then like, these were packages that were I was expecting and then like returns I needed to make. I think this is probably the only page in this whole thing that I like. Um, I started with like my December cover page and my December intentions. Um, but like now as I'm going through when I want to plan again, like I'm looking at an event at the beginning of, you know, Q1 2018, I've got to flip all the way back to that random page. And I know that there's a table of contents. Anyway, negative Nelly, here I go again. Somebody's going to get mad at me, I'm sure. And like, leave some kind of rude comment, but I'm just, I just want you guys to know that this is kind of my, um, way of thinking about this and kind of what I thought it would be like expectation versus reality. How about that? So I have had a bullet journal in the past and have been okay with it. I don't know why it's been such a fail this time, but again, maybe just cause things have changed. Um, so then these are like some PR and brands, um, that I'm working with and like campaigns that I kind of want to keep track of. This was another weekly spread, um, that again, just like random things. And then um, I wrote this quote up here that I like to count ingredients, not calories. So, and then this was just more like things, just random, like brain dump that I was writing. And then here's this page of like books I wanted to read. And then for the weekend, what I needed to do. And then I'm giving a talk. And so I wanted to like brainstorm my talk. It's just like, and then I was watching a video on a candida cleanse. And so I was like writing down, you know, what the protocol is for that. And then the next page is like campaign platforms for like social media and PR. It's just a mess, you guys. I, I think it's just not um, working for me like I would have liked. Um, and I'm having a hard time with forward planning as well. Like I'm trying to get Q1 2018 planned and I can't um, do it in this properly. So I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a rest. I think I tried. I think I probably overwhelmed myself a little bit with trying to like decorate um, and get into pretty planning. I think I got so excited about um, Amanda's videos. So as of now, we only have a few weeks left of 2017 and I'm just gonna keep writing things out in here. I have a lot to finish before the end of the year. So um, I'm just gonna stay in this book and work in here and just kind of be as messy as I wanna be and not worry about um, it looking pretty or decorating or anything like that. And then I think for 2018, um, I'm actually going to move into this Erin Condren, which I never thought I would say. Um, but I like this because it has the monthly calendars already. So after the monthlies, it just has 52 pages of lists, like weekly lists that I can write out my to do's. Um, I don't keep appointments or anything in here. So we'll see if nothing else, this will be a nice, um, planner to use for forward planning. Um, and then maybe I'll still use this bullet journal in conjunction with it. Um, I don't know exactly yet. I'm not going to film a 2018 setup obviously yet because I want to kind of work these kinks out. Um, and then once I have a better idea, maybe mid January or end of January, I will film that for you guys. But I did want to show you this bullet journal update. Um, again, sorry, it wasn't like very happy, but, um, I want you guys to know that sometimes things don't work out. <laughs> so anyway, let me know if you're using a bullet journal, if you like it, what you think of it. Um, or if you have any suggestions on maybe how I can get back into it again. I used to love it so much. So um, maybe I need to just kind of 
get back into it. So leave me your suggestions down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you give this a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. All right, take care, you guys. Bye.